mission fulfilled for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is literally a dream come true because. Um... <laughs> Guys, what a beautiful day where there is no time to waste. Good morning, folks. The time is um, 9.45 and I'm about to have breakfast and the day is quite nice. And do you see the future of tomorrow are training? And that's good. Keep going, mate. Don't give up, mate. Keep going. Keep running. Because <laughs> hard work always pays off. But yeah, today's going to be an exciting day. Uh, because first of all, I'm going to have my interview with the club. So I'm really looking forward to that. But let's give you an update of how, how I've been and what happened um, so on my debut as I told you guys that I had an injury like a concussion that just someone just knocked me out but I was able to continue the game but he just knocked me out and with concussions you need to have a break for like two weeks so I've done that I came back to training and one week after training with the team as I was out for two weeks I think probably my body was not really ready. So because our training sessions are very, very intense and it's very, very quick and you need to be proper up for it. But might be I had to do some more extras or maybe I've done a bit too much. So that's why my calf was very, very tight. And yeah, I strained my calf because it was just too tired and I had to take a break again of a week so all in all i was out for like three weeks so it's very very hard to get back after being injured to get back into full fitness so that's why now i'm not really into full fitness but i'm gonna get there and that's what i need to work for to get back to full fitness so that's why the process of getting my full fitness back is on because as you guys know as footballers out there they know that when you're out, when you're injured, like you need your time, you need games to get back into your full 100%. And I'm not on 100%, I'm right now, I'm on 60%. In the next coming days, I'm gonna do some extra sessions. And then hopefully we get back to full fitness because we're here to smash it, but let's have some breakfast. So my breakfast is gonna be simply like always porridge. I love this, I love this, with almond milk, chia seeds. And if you guys have a machine like this, it's so nice. I mean, you can measure your food. Yeah, and for example, I need 100 grams. I think it's called food scale so helpful so so helpful because if you have a food scale you know exactly okay I have 100 grams and in those 100 grams I have 10 grams of proteins I have this amount of calories like very very helpful chia seeds honey porridge banana strawberry mm. we had a good breakfast but we need to go to the gym now because the good part with my club because it's professional we have like first of all we have proper um, physiotherapist we have proper like athletic performer or how do you say that and like athletic coaches who really know how to be quicker how to get stronger and how to get more stamina on the pitch so that's why i have a program that i need to follow so that's why i'm going to the gym 
because today on the menu is going to be some leg workout but also cardio on the bike so i'm going to take you through what i do but i need a new haircut i need a new haircut because this hair <laughs> and i need a new jacket as well because it's getting so cold winter is coming so i need a new jacket but i'm on my bike so let's cruise let's cruise to the gym Dun, 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 dun. Hey. We're in the gym and to start my session I did a five minute of uh, cycling just to warm up my muscles and after that I did some elastic bands exercise and each exercise I personally always do three sets of like 10 to 12 reps but those elastic bands as I'm now in the professional club we always use that before training and before a match so it's really really good and you should include that as well in your workout to prevent injuries and to be just strong And those next exercises are all from my program, like just a snippet. But I've done some Bozu ball forward lunges. And there you need to take care that your knee doesn't go over your toes. And then some good mornings. And I feel stronger. I feel stronger by doing those exercises, calf press machine as well, especially after my, my strain on my calf. Those things help me and what I've learned just by being in my team for about two months or one and a half months that when you're injured, when you have a strain or like a muscle injury, the worst thing that you can do is just to do nothing and just to relax and try to let it heal by, by her, by his own. You need to do some exercises. You need to, for example, if you have a calf strain, you need to do gently exercises and strengthen your calves don't just sit there and do nothing and the full workout of this football specific app workout stabilization is going to be in the description and i really enjoyed today's session really really enjoyed it And to finish off, I did 14 minutes of high interval cycling. This just means one minute, try to do it on a moderate tempo and then one minute in a high tempo, as high as possible. And you do it for 14 minutes. After this gym, is it just me or is it with you as well that every time when you go to the gym, after that, the feeling is just amazing? Because right now, I feel I'm getting fitter and fitter because the upcoming weeks are going to be very, very intense because we're going to have matches during the week and on weekends. So two matches in a week. So we need to be fit for it. And because of that fact that Football is just so intense, so like demanding physically, but also mental. My shopping list today was bananas and vegan blend. Because after a good workout, you need proteins. And I highly recommend you guys, if you guys have Netflix, watch on Netflix a documentary called the game changer. It's literally a documentary where like sports people, really like professional sports people, NFL players, rugby players, like footballers, like all like all sorts of sports, they really tell people how their vegan lifestyle changed their performance. And and it's just so interesting. Even if you're not vegan, but try to not eat meat every day. I mean, you can eat meat, but not every day. Because I'm going to change my diet as well. Because I'm going to 
try and include some vegan days because meat nah, don't need to be on our dishes every single day because some people have meat every day two three times but anyway let's get this smoothie done and this is my interview that i've done my first interview with my new club Brandon, good to be able to, to talk to you and uh, I know for you now, in terms of being able to play football professionally for, for a career, it's a big ambition fulfilled for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is literally a dream come true because um, where I come from, like what I've, what I've been through in my life, my whole life, and to get finally a pro deal is just the best feeling ever. And your footballing journey has been interesting as well, hasn't it? Plenty of, country, plenty of countries you've played in, played plenty of non-league football in this country as well. How, how would you sum that up? Yeah, like I started off like um, in Germany where I was born and raised. Um, I played um, Youth Academy by Leverkusen. And then what for me was a big step, a step to um, be at Hamburg SV. But then um, being released and I played in Israel for also like a couple of months, but it was a bit too dangerous. And then obviously coming to England, football country number one, where opportunities are unbelievably like you can play step seven and still next year, if you do well, you can play in league football. And that what that what I was aiming for to come to the football country number one, England. And I played in quite a few clubs here in England. And um, yeah, always aiming for the highest. And uh, yeah, finally now with Kidderminster Harriers, I think it's a, a good level where I can just prove myself that that I really can play higher and want to play higher. I want to do well. And obviously, very very thankful and grateful that Kidderminster Harriers gave me the opportunity to do that. And hopefully it goes well. And what's helped you keep that, that mental resilience, really, in the sense that you've, you've been to a few different clubs and had that challenge and had to dig in and, and work hard to impress lots of different people? How have you managed to keep that going? Yeah, I mean, I had to impress a lot of people. There were also a lot of people who say, look, um, I should do something else. I'm too tall to play football or something else. Me being six foot six, like there are advantages, but also a lot of disadvantages. But I think the only thing that kept me going is just my inner strength. It's just where I come from, we grind. And um, and my mom always say, look, when you love something, just keep doing it. So. And how have you found your time here so far? Because although you haven't been able to play many games, you've obviously been part of the group here and you've trained and been around the place probably the best part of a couple of months now, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm here now, I think, for about five weeks. And it's been great i mean from the first day on i've been accepted welcome by the lads so welcoming manager um talks to me a lot and um the way how he plays his football he tries to explain like what sort of role i'm i i, sh I need to play but i really loved it and i think i've never had that in a in another club before to feel so welcome so that's why i want to do well and yeah. And has it been frustrating for you as well in the sense that you've got this far, that, that big part of the journey that you talk about, but through games being postponed and, and the FA Cup and cancellations and, and your little injury as well, you've still had to wait? Yeah, exactly. I still had to wait. I mean, I was happy enough to make my debut against Spennymore, but then obviously this head injury knocked me out for like two weeks. And um, now like a, a tight calf um, knocks me out for about a week. But I just can't wait to finally get starting and yeah, I just can't wait to play, literally. You mentioned the game at, at Spain or what, what were your thoughts of that first taste of, of professional football, if you like, in, in terms of playing first team games here? It was a tough afternoon, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it was, especially for me because it was my debut, so it's a bit different, nervous, you're nervous, you know it's the first game for your new club, so you try to help out the team, try to do well. And um, unfortunately, um, we lost like in the last minute. But for me personally, it was a great experience and just something I need to build on. Because um, it's obviously it's games where you improve. It's games that you need, especially for a striker. Um, yeah, but I'm just looking forward to, to other matches. How do you approach the next few months now? Because you've got the weight lifted off your shoulders in a sense in that you've got the... The professional contract you want until the end of the season you can yeah. concentrate fully on football now getting yourself fit and, and playing games is it just one match at a time now exactly as now um everything is 
off the table. I can focus on my football, um, trying to do those extra shifts because now I'm getting back from this injury. So I need to do some extra, but I'm just looking forward to it. Just looking forward to every training and I see it match by match. Um, just to be fit for, for every match and to give 100,000% to literally like run my shirt off to for this club, definitely. And whether it's days or weeks, obviously it sounds like you're looking forward to getting out there here at Agborough and playing in front of the home fans. Especially for the home, like like in, in Agborough at this amazing stadium, like home fans, thousand plus people at any match, like every match, this is like literally unbelievable. And I was thinking as well, like the, the other night that, wow, it's literally amazing if you play and you, you score a goal, like it's literally, it's amazing. Is that your, your, your next target then in terms of getting, yeah, down, getting that first goal? On definitely, your definitely. I can't wait to score my first goal and only God knows, but we keep working hard for it. Mmm, nice, mmm, wow. wow, frozen blueberries, my vegan blend, chia seeds, banana, and a bit of avocado, amazing. But anyway, as you guys seen, guys, it's a new start, like I'm buzzing, I can't wait to do well for this club. I mean, there's so much hard work, but we keep going. We keep working hard. We keep going to the gym. We keep doing those extras. And I'm gonna invite you to my world because I know so, so many more people. They are right now sitting in their living room and they think, oh, I will never be a pro. Bruv, trust me, you will, as long as you keep working hard. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already, smash that like button, guys. Keep in mind, when you believe, everything is mm, possible. So, team run now. Mm, I'll see you tomorrow. Or next time. <laughs>